Uh, here you are seeing the blood supply of the colon. <clears throat> you can see that from the superior mesenteric artery you have the right colic artery uh, which is giving off the branch to the right ascending part of the colon. Uh, you have the middle colic artery also coming from the superior mesenteric artery which is giving branches towards the transverse colon. Uh, this is the left colic branch coming from the inferior mesenteric artery that is supplying here uh, the descending colon. Then you have the sigmoid arteries coming from the inferior mesenteric artery supporting this uh, supplying the sigmoid colon and this is the superior rectal artery supplying the upper part of the rectum so among all this you have some regions where you have uh, a, uh, a chance for a relative ischemia that means an absence of anastomosis between these vessels and these two zones are particularly important one is near the splenic flexure and that is called as the griffith's point and the next is at the sigmoidal rectal junction because this is the rectum and this is the sigmoid. At the sigmoidal rectal junction, you have the sudex point. So the sudex point and Griffith's point are particularly vulnerable regions uh, where you can have a relative ischemia because of uh, non-anastomosis between the colonic branches.